Modernist design principles were the foundation of the modernist era, where a small group of avant-grade designers and artists wanted to reject history and aim for a brighter future. This film will discuss how these principles were used to shape the future of design and create a better way of life. Designer Herbert Bayer was both a student and teacher at the German school, the Bauhaus. He embraced modernist design principles to create dynamic and lively compositions that spoke of the future, not the past. His designs, such as the universal typeface and his numerous poster designs, embrace modern machine technologies and geometric forms. Bayer's influence in the design world is still evident today. Contemporary Dutch design company, Thonic, utilizes many of the same modernist principles in their design work, exploring themes of progress and innovation. Their designs for the Holland Festival poster and the NSUP poster are strongly influenced by Bayer and his use of modernist principles. This film will explore how both Bayer and Thonic utilize and implement these principles to create graphics that spoke of a modernist progressive world by presenting graphics in simple forms and colors, as well as how they created good design for change. Herbert Bayer was born on April 5, 1900, living until 85 years old, where he passed away on the 30th of September, 1985. Bayer was a painter, architect, graphic designer, and industrial designer, although he was most widely known for his graphic design works. In 1921, he enrolled as a student in the Bauhaus Design School, as he was drawn by the theoretical writings of Vasily Kandinsky, who taught there as a master of analytical drawing. The Bauhaus School was a German design school founded by Walter Gropius. The school was founded after the end of World War I, which is why the school follows such an anti-historicism approach to design. This approach is also evident in many of Bayer's designs. In 1925, Bayer passed his journeyman's examination, after which he was appointed master of the workshop for painting and advertising. Bayer left the Bauhaus in 1928, quitting shortly after the departure of Walter Gropius. My work in totality is a statement to the integration of the contemporary artist into an industrial society. Bayer said this about himself. It shows how he views himself as being part of the modernist movement. Modernism within design history describes the 20th century design movement towards social change, which involved the Bauhaus School of Design. The movement follows many design principles, such as pure form, the use of primary colours, and universality, which are all principles directly linked to Bayer's graphic design work. Modernity involves the concepts that entails the demolition of traditional forms of life and the construction of new modern alternatives. It is the transformation from a traditional rural agrarian society to a secular urban industrial society. This era brought upon simplicity because it worked. Because designs were simple, they were able to communicate an idea to an audience much easier. This example of the Bauhaus poster clearly shows the use of primary colours and pure form. The type used is a type that can be accessed by all regardless of status, race or nationality, thus linking to all the principles of universality. Bayer will also often use elementary geometric forms which is seen in his poster design for Schlesisches Heim. This era brought upon many new materials, technologies, and techniques. Bayer's designs revolved more around modern design techniques and technologies rather than modern materials. In this poster design, Bauhaus des Zoo, by Bayer, he uses photography in a modern way. The way the photo is taken from an abstract view and the simplistic use of type is quite expressive of the times. Bayer's ability to create an interactive space with his designs was a technique he often used. He was a genius with composition, and it is evident in his poster design for Professor Hans Polzig. The way the red is spread across the page and the size of the text creates a space. This is something that was new for its time and hadn't been seen much before. One of Bayer's most famous designs was the typeface he created called Universal. 
It was a font that could be used to achieve maximum result with minimum effort, both from an economic and technical productive and functional point of view. The type became known as the typeface of the Bauhaus, as it represents the style of modernity. The principle of universality is evident in Bayer's single alphabet, as it was a design language for all people regardless of class, race or nationality. It was all in lowercase in order to become a more efficient type. The Fagish gift model poster, designed by Herbert Bayer in 1925, is a great example of the principle less is more. It uses negative space in a genius way, and the orange rectangle in the top right draws the eye to the bold text that sits nicely at the top of the script model. Bayer's rejection for decoration and ornament in favour for simplicity is apparent in this design. It is evident that Bayer uses many modernist design principles in his works. This helped to promote the ideals for the modernist design. Bayer favoured a simplistic layout and simplistic colours such as the primary colour palette. This can be seen in the work of other designers. The architecture and arts front cover is an example of this. The way negative space and colour is used is heavily influenced by Herbert Bayer. The red is quite striking and the use of negative space is very much like Bayer's idea of creating a space in the design. Also, the use of type and different sizes of text is quite similar to what Bayer used. Bayer helped to set a foundation for many modernist designers to come. His designs were straight to the point and easy to understand. They invoked the spirit of the times and Bayer's designs were definitely ahead of their time. The influence Bayer's designs had on the modernist era is definitely a good thing as designers can learn to communicate ideas better by using Bayer as an example which is beneficial for the wider public. Bayer created a modern identity for a new age as he believed that when designing to communicate ideas, designers should try to tell the story in the simplest terms so that the reader would get immediate comprehension. This created a social backdrop for contemporary designers such as Thonic. Thonic, led by designers Nicky Gonesson and Thomas Widdershoven, specialised in visual communication graphic identity, interaction, and motion design. Much like Bayer, Thonic uses elementary geometric forms and the grid throughout many of their designs. Thonic's designs for the Holland Festival shows strong use of these principles. The shapes and the type are very simple, being built of mainly rectangles and circular shapes for the O's. The way the type is composed and differences in the text sizes is quite similar to some of Bayer's poster designs. The way large bold text is used is perhaps inspired by Bayer. Something that Thonk does really well is that they are able to make their design stand out in a setting while still staying true to materials and embracing the machine aesthetic. They also use colour wisely to make their designs pop in the setting they are placed, thus they become very noticeable. Yet, Thonk sticks to a very simple colours using mainly primary colours. They follow the principle less is more in many of their designs. This is obvious in their design for the social party. Although there is very little to look at in the NUSP poster, the red is very striking and stands out almost wherever the poster is placed. The ideals that Bayer learnt at the Bauhaus have continued on because of contemporary designers such as Thonic. Both Thonic and Bayer believe that design should be functional, simplistic, and yet achieve maximum result. Bayer's way of design in relation to how he utilised modern design principles set a foundation for future designers. His design aimed to create a better way of life for all. These ideals are still seen today from contemporary designers such as Thonic. Because these ideals are still seen today, we can be confident that they will still be present or evolving in the future. Thus, design will continue to improve the lives of all well into the future.